Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna do your weekend reading coming up. I can't even believe it. March, oh my gosh, first through the third. Right? Wait, am I do I have that right? I probably don't. I'm so confused. No, that's right. March first through the through the third. Okay, so let's take a look and see what your messages are for your weekend. And actually, I'm gonna do this. What I've been using my Chinese. Oh, straight off the bat here. Okay, you have, you're starting with wisdom. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. Holy, what? What's happening this weekend, Virgo? Okay, so that's Friday. What does Saturday look like? What's your message for Saturday? Oh, good. Yeah, this yesterday. Achievement. Enjoy the limelight. You've earned it. Although on the family front, someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights. That's worries and fears. Okay. Saturday and Sunday. Friendship. Mm, okay. A friend needs your help. Your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. Okay. That's a Virgo thing. I really feel like that's a Virgo thing. Virgos are all about like, what can I do for you? Help me help you. <laughs> all right, let's take a look. Um, so moving on from someone here, um, to focus on the past is to lose the future. Someone gives you advice, an older person, which is gonna help you walk away from someone or something involving love okay the lovers hmm. someone's gonna say if someone truly if they really loved you they wouldn't put themselves in a position to lose you um it's time to walk away there's better th things better people better energies out there for you and from yesterday's reading it seemed like somebody new was coming in wow they're gonna say virgo do you feel safe so this always, you know, feels like my safe card because it's like money. It's like money in the vault, you know, in the bank. Um, somebody's going to tell you, it could be a Gemini, but or another earth sign is going to tell you, you, you need to, you need to open yourself up to someone like get rid of that past person and open yourself up to safety, security, and a loving relationship. So I feel like Friday you're going to get some really good advice and it could be from someone who has been in a very long healthy relationship um you know length of time doesn't indicate health okay um because people can be married for two years and have the healthiest relationship there is or involved for two years and others could be together for 25 years and it's toxic as f you know so this is someone who's in a very healthy relationship possibly even married could be somebody at your work or someone that you work with or is attached to some type of business you're involved in or a family thing um it feels like it's gonna either they're either gonna be talking about a king of cups or it's gonna be coming from a king of cups okay um and there may even be an actual king of cups who somebody tells you to go for that this person they might even they might even be it might even be the king of cups tell, trying to convince you to be with them like long term on friday they might even be saying forget about the past person and they might be older than you uh, you know masculine or feminine come with me be with me okay virgo let me just get a couple clarifiers for that but somebody's gonna say it to you on Friday for sure. It could be at any time during the weekend, but we're looking at Friday. Somebody's going to either tell you they want to be with you forever and ever and ever, happily ever after. Let's move in together, let's start a business together, let's have a home together, all that. Buy a house together, all that. Or they're going to be telling you that that's it's somebody else saying to you, that's what you need to be focusing on, not the past person. Okay, so look, we're clarifying the lovers. Okay. That's you. That's you. The Nine of Pentacles is the Virgo card. Single as a Pringle and doing just fine. Hmm. All right. Clarifying the King of Cups. So if it's this person, the King of Cups, water sign, giving you some advice. They've known you for a long time. Okay. And it's either to be with them and they want you to be with them or 
they're giving you advice it could be a sibling as well or someone that you've known for way back giving you advice or maybe even wanting to introduce you to someone and telling you forget about that past person that's not going to work out right so so we're gonna have to wait and see how this plays out and remember if friday comes and nothing happens it doesn't mean the weekend's not over yet so just wait and see definitely leave me a comment though and let me know if this plays out for you or if it already is okay now you've got achievement showing up here on saturday right so enjoying the limelight so whatever energy you've been putting in, Virgo, whatever you've been doing, okay, you receive some kind of an award or um, a diploma or a certificate, you achieve, okay? Now, will you actually get it Saturday? You might. Could it come through the mail? Yes. Could it just be an email and you get a notification that you like, hey, we want you to come speak or, um, you know, there, there's a limelight energy around it. So that, that pretty much means you're going to be in the spotlight on Saturday. Okay. Knight of Wands. Ooh, yeah, this is a legal thing. Yeah. This is, in the, and whoever, it could be a company, it could be one person, it could be a group. Um, they've been kind of taken. Oh, all right. So this tallying up results this is what i'm hearing oh that's strange um votes maybe you're running for something are you running for something council seat or something that has to do with justice department or something legal um being voted being voted for something along like you're 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 i feel like maybe it's a position as like a judge or court something um you're gonna hear you're gonna hear back you're gonna get this uh like when i'm looking at this nine of wands i kind of it makes me feel like it's been a lot of hard work to determine the winner that's what i'm hearing and they've been doing it behind the scenes but it looks like winner winner chicken dinner it's you you're gonna be the one that receives um and also as far as like um Someone in your family could have like a little bit of a health issue. Um, so it feels like either somebody like sprains their elbow or they knock their head on something and you um, rush to get them checked out. But for some reason you would be extra worried about this person. Um, and it could have oh, okay so it's not worried if they're gonna be okay it's like worried about how we're gonna pay for something so I'm hearing like if there's someone in your family that's recovering from something and they they get out of bed too soon they needed to take an extra week or they have like you know maybe some surgery or something and they accidentally get hurt on their own there's this there's this concern of like how are we going to pay for something here or, um, i'm just seeing kids with a grandma as well a couple of kids or a mother with kids or it could be a child that's hurt or something it's kind of not, nothing there's nothing major okay so don't go down the rabbit hole it's just it's more about like health insurance or finances is what i feel okay so th what they're trying to say it's it's like secret worries and sleepless nights about how are we going to pay for this i feel like whoever the person is you know even if it's you or someone in your family that like you know i don't know they maybe they hit their funny bone and, and it's just now all wonky or something whatever the issue is like they're they're gonna be okay this just feels like oh more money out of your pocket right times are tough you guys like i went and bought a pound of Swiss cheese and a pound of ham from the deli and it was $30 I paid $30.27.99 to be specific for a pound of cheese and a pound of ham 30 freaking dollars are you kidding me like you guys I don't really get on here and, and get into all that i'm usually just like yeah you know what times are tough but man this is bs this is bs and and even like okay yeah i can i can right now i can afford that but there's people out there that cannot 
You know, like, what are we supposed to do? Just like, I don't know, go get the garbage can and scrape the sides and put it in a pot of boiling water and have dirt soup? Is that what we're supposed to be eating in this country? Like, are you kidding? All right, I'm done with my rant. It just, I couldn't believe it. So you might be feeling the pressure and the pull a little bit. And it's not just the country, it's the world, right? You might be feeling the pressure and the pull of a financial strain. Okay, maybe it's one of your kids or something like that, you know? Or maybe somebody's insurance has run out or they're too early to get the senior care or something. Like, there's legal help, though, for paying bills, okay? I just want you to know that after I've gone on my rant. Do your due diligence. Search. Seek. Find the money. It's somewhere. You will find it if you need it. Okay. My ham and cheese is going to last me for a month because you know what? I'm going to stick it in the freezer and then when I want it during the day, I'm just going to thaw out a little bit and then that's how I'm, that's how I'm doing it. I'm trying to save because I'm a Virgo. I don't like to spend money, but that right there, no, it's just a couple of years ago. I feel like a pound of ham was like, what, $6.99? Are you effing kidding? Anyway, you've got friendship. A friend needs your help, your kindness, and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. They're your good friend, Virgo. You really are. Friendship um, could be anybody in your life this weekend, whoever. It could be a friend. It could be a lover. It could be a um, your offspring. It could be um, family members, friends, colleagues. Um, somebody comes to you. And so somebody's not asking you to like help them move their furniture. It's not that. Um, they're not asking for you to give them a ride somewhere. This is, I'm having a emotional, I need help. I need to talk, okay? So you come in with, yeah, see, someone's feeling like some kind of loss or heartbreak. They don't want to go to work. They're putting a lot of, they put a lot of effort into something, okay? This, but I feel like, and I just want you to know that this conversation, that this setting someone on track, helping, you know, it's so easy to kind of logic out another person's situation because you don't have an emotional attachment to it, to their person. So it's easier for you to have like an objective view. It's hard to have an objective view when you have an emotional attachment to your own situation and the way you deal with your own situation is you don't think with your emotional brain you, you use your logical brain to sort out your own dilemmas okay because your heart is always gonna just say no 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 I love you anyway so this kind of helps you I feel this little bit of logic um, helping somebody get back on track kind of puts you on track in a way as well um so they're gonna say you know they're heartbroken they put a lot of effort into something or a relationship or something and they're like they're they're distraught they have a lot of remorse and regret um yeah their self-esteem is shot to shit they are they're broke busted and disgusted they feel mentally trapped um they feel victimized somebody might have sabotaged a relationship or they might be blaming themselves um, they were so happy with someone or a situation or a person, place, or thing, and now they're just like feeling so much loss. Uh, somebody might have ghosted them. Virgo, this might be ringing a few bells in your ear about some of y'all, your own situation. And I feel like you're, you might just be like, you know what? Let me tell you what to do. Because Virgo, like, ask yourself, what would you tell someone else who's going through a similar situation as you? You'd be like, get the hell out of here. Tell them to take a hike, right? That's what. But for yourself, are you applying that same logic, right? So I feel like this is going to give you a little insight into maybe your own situation. So either someone decides not to commit to this person anymore, or it's ghosting, or there's like, it's just they left, or something along those lines. They have a heartbreak. Virgo, you're going to be like, tell me what's going on. Come on, give me everything. Let me know. Give me the tea. So you're going to have like a little bit of a sit down or something and you're really going to like, you're going to bat one out of the park for this person. And I feel like it's really going to help you too in a lot of ways. Like this is my, this is my, uh, my uh, first baseman at, at the plate, you know, swing, bat a bat a swing. So I feel like you're really going to 
set somebody straight be like just get your ass out there get around your friends um your support group date a little if you have to go out and do things get social don't don't sit in your bed and cry for hours take your time but try to balance it out with you know make sure you get a little something to eat a little something to drink you don't want to dehydrate yourself from this shit stain who's screwing you over um Virgo I feel like this is a two for one for you on Sunday really and and like I said it could it could happen Friday it could happen Saturday or Sunday or just could, could go through the whole weekend so it's really just depends on you know your situation but I don't know Virgo I kind of feel like I feel like your weekend is pretty good you know like if I scale one to ten I feel like your weekend is like pretty much eight and a half, nine, you know, sans the stress with trying to help someone financially with maybe some health stuff. But yeah, I feel like, um, I feel like you're good. You're going to have a good weekend. So 1969, 1982, someone is 30. Um, O-E, I just heard, oh, oh, we, oh, we, oh, what's that song? I forget. I forget that song. Oh we oh we oh. What's that go to? Somebody, somebody, leave it in the comment. What's the name of that song? Excuse me, Mr. Officer. Do you love me like that? I am. Oh my God! Songs are coming back to me. It's like all these '80s. The Informer. Do you remember that song? I am the Informer. All right. Anyway, move on, girl. Move on. Okay. So we got the letter J, the letter S, Jose, August 31st, always here, always. The letter C, oh, that was a C, now it's a B. The letter N, okay, oh, Bone, <laughs> or that could be somebody's last name, Bone, or how do you say it? B-O-E-N or B-E-O-N, bone, or am I saying that right? Or bean or bane? Okay. Um, we've got Jennifer for sure. We've got Jessica. Um, <laughs> Jocelyn, I just heard. Okay. We got someone's nickname they're saying Nessie Nessie Ness Nessie okay 52 someone's 52 we got um, September 9th 55 again uh, September 20 give me a little September 20 again okay September 21st and September 22nd okay got the month of June. Someone was born in June. Letter I, letter A. We have Ian. Just saw Ian. Oh, that 55 just turned and turned again. Somebody is 22. They're just saying. This is 5555. Five, five, five. Okay. Someone is in New Zealand. New Zealand and Jakarta. Is that a place? Jakarta. I just heard Joe or Joseph. Bo, somebody's name Bo or Bober. Oh, hello, Mr. Owl. Okay, someone is 39. We have September 5th. Um, three zero nine five could be somebody's phone number. Eight two six nine five five three nine. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm not going to pull any of the signs here because we really aren't too specific. Um, okay, September 16th. Someone's born 1990. Someone's name initial starts with an O. Okay, someone P.F. Chang. I just heard P.F. Chang, but we have the letter F. Frank. Francesca, we have P, 1962 is also here. Um, somebody's really nosy in your business this weekend, or right now. Somebody's very, very nosy. I just want to tell you that. Someone's like trying to get all up in your business. 
and someone is 32, someone is 40, and somebody's birthday is in November. November 10th. Oops, yes. November 10th is getting all up in your business. All right, could be a Leo. They're just saying now to figure this out. Could also be a Leo. <laughs> could be a Gemini or an Aries. Okay, and 1975. So look, you've got an owl here. You know owls are attached to aliens? I just heard that. You know, I'm on an alien kick right now. I watch this guy on YouTube. I mean, he's my newest that I just crack. Like, I lay in my bed and I laugh my ass off. I can't not. His name is Casper Sight. You probably have heard of him. I, like I said, I'm always late to the party, like fashionably late. But he does a lot of like reaction videos to like, I just want to say paranormal, all kinds of freaky deaky things that are, he's from the UK, all kinds of freaky deaky things that like people upload videos about. And I'm just like, oh, that is so insane. But I'll watch, I'll watch, I, watch, I love the alien stuff. Like I love that, like the paranormal stuff. Yeah, I scare the shit out of myself with that. Like I can't, I can't, I'll watch like a surgery show. You know, as long as it's not surgery on the head, like I'm totally fine with watching them like pull out your guts and stuff and repairing and all that stuff. But the, the horror um, gore, I can't do that. And the paranormal scares like seriously, the shadows and the ghosts and stuff. I'm just, I can't with that. I just, everybody's got their thing. That's not my thing, okay? But the aliens. So anyway, I'll leave a link below if, if nobody knows what I'm talking about. Casper Sight. Um, he's hilarious. He's funny. He's like such a reactionary. Like at first I was like, this guy's nuts, but now I love it. <laughs> anyway, so some, somebody said something to me that the owls are attached to aliens. I don't know why. Maybe because they kind of look like an alien a little bit here. Oh, this actually looks like a robot alien. This kind of reminds me of Rosie from the Jetsons. Does anybody remember Rosie, the house cleaner? Tell me, um, if you remember the show, I know a lot of us are all the same age, but if you remember the cartoon show, The Jetsons by Hanna-Barbera and Rosie, the house cleaner, does that not look like Rosie? Is it me? So I don't know, maybe somebody's name is Rose, um, or maybe you're cleaning your house, or maybe you have like a Roomba that's running. I had one and it broke and I had to say goodbye to it. Um, but there's, I don't know, this owl looks like super either either super stoned or seriously stressed. What do you think? Um, I'm just hearing like a button owl, like an owl with buttons too. Not hearing it, well, in, the impression I'm getting is like a button, an owl made of buttons or a button owl. I don't know what that means. But you know, obviously owls, they represent wisdom and insight and, um, that kind of stuff so there's there, there's a connection to an owl for someone here i don't know who um i don't know maybe you'll spot like an alien i told you guys i saw an orb right i did i saw an orb and um i can't remember if i did i tell you that i was like just walking through the parking lot and i saw like this i saw this metal and i swear to god because i tell you what once you start watching all that stuff then you start seeing them you do and it was like a round metal orb. I don't know. It was pretty big, I guess. It was kind of far away, but it looked weird. It wasn't like um, it wasn't like a helium balloon because a helium balloon will kind of go up. Now, if it ha if it's like low in helium, it could go across, but it will still kind of do a little bit of this as it's going across. This thing was just like that, straight across the parking lot into the woods, and I followed it, and it just disappeared into the woods. I watched it. And I was like, I did not just see that. And I'm still, I, I, I'm not really confirming whether I did or not, but I have the image in my brain, like a, a moving picture in my brain of it. And every time I see it in my mind, again, that was not what I'm used to. There's something off about it, okay? So I don't know. There's something going on with these orbs, these orby things. I don't know. They could be drones. They could be who the hell. Maybe Google's got a whole new google earth thing and they're not doing the truck anymore and they get these orb things i don't know what's going on maybe you'll see something over the weekend if you do let me know but you also have um a lion 
How about that? So strong Leo energy over this weekend for you. Okay. But listen, the, the lion is the king of beasts. The lion is not the king of the jungle. Lions do not live in jungles. They live in the Serengeti. They live in the, you know, the open, whatever it's called, uh, the king of beasts. Okay. So there's something here about, hopefully it's not anything bad, but you know, or perverted, twisted, or queer, or like weird, but there's something here about the king of beasts, okay, um, or a beast, <laughs> gosh, I don't know, I don't know what's the connection to that, but it is Leo, it is Leo energy, so Leo will be significant over this weekend, um, you could be on the cusp of Leo and Virgo, so it's just more of a confirmation that this is your reading, but I am picking up a really strong, like, power there's a power force, a power energy this weekend, okay, for you. So I'm going to leave that there. I hope that you enjoyed that to some degree and it wasn't too crazy. And I will see you all back here on Sunday. Have a fantastic weekend. Thank you everyone for joining the channel. If you didn't get a shout out for me today, I will come back Sunday and give you one. If you have joined my channel, $2.99 per month. And uh, yeah, don't forget personal reading links, description box below. I will leave Casper sites uh youtube channel down there hopefully i remember if it's not there i'm sorry the name is casper site s-i-g-h-t he's on twitter and instagram and all that but i don't really use that stuff so yeah go check it out all right you guys have a great weekend see you later bye hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.